What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're essentially doing the ramp package RNG version. Now I didn't run uh, the three costs on your shroom because there really wasn't anything to go from turn four until turn turn six. If you play on your shroom again on turn three, it'll give you six sun on turn four. Really, we just have five drops. So uh, we're running your primal sunflower. We're also running twin sunflower. The idea is to try to play this on two and then on turn three to play Ragnaros Berry. Um, I feel like this would actually even non-ironically give a, get a lot of value. Uh, if played on turn three, especially you can play this in front of the Twin Sunflower and ramp again. You can play it behind. It's very kind of versatile in that third away. And we're also running Atomic Bombogranite, which again can protect the sun, the, you know, your Twin Sunflower, and then spawn into two seedlings. And the combined value of those, it's probably going to be at least a four drop. You're still gaining a lot of value. Uh, we're running Pine Claw Molecule. Uh, that's going to be another thing you can sort of ramp to very easily in the stack. We're running the Velociradish Hunter to make the Pine Clones better, to make Molecales better, you can just play this on 3, play this on 4. Um, and running Reincarnation again, which is a very strong card, you should hopefully get a lot of value. This will sort of compensate for the fact we're not running too many late game cards, but this will kind of randomly spawn into a late game card every once in a while. If not, it'll be an early game card and you'll get a lot of value from it regardless. So, uh, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Let's try this. We're keeping luck score today. I think this deck can be... Really good. I'm especially excited for ramping to Electric Blueberry and that's sort of like taking over the game because they're going to be struggling to take it out. You can even just stick like a Puff Shroom in, st in front of the Ragnaros Berry to make sure it doesn't die that turn and then it's a 6 damage. Kind of ridiculous, okay? Don't need two Pine Clones ever. Uh, this is fine. You can actually play this on one to absorb the bats. Uh, should we do some kind of bet today? What would we do for a bet? I mean, we could do out of uh, out of out of ten out of ten games. Uh, this is more of an RNG deck, but all right, guys. This is what we're gonna do for the predictions here. Um, we got five minutes to bet. This is we bet our channel points here in the live stream. Um, I don't know. That was the wrong one. Do you think this game, this deck? will win let's make a new one wait more than six out of ten wins this will be yes seven or more this will be no Six or fewer. I think because we're doing an RNG deck here. I gotta hurry up. Uh, let's go here, actually. Probably say the date. It's April 16th. So it goes beam me up, which is okay. It's nice that this is trading with the twin sunflower instead of the... It's trading with the primal instead of the twin. So I put this behind. Thank you, Tryhard. Just subbed for 30 months. God damn. Tryhard, man. I subbed to him this month. <laughs> for the first time. I feel terrible. Wow, we got some plays. We got him. So we'll play 10 games. If we get 7 and 3 or better, that the vote is yes. If not, not. I could have probably made it more than 7. Everyone would vote yes still, but... Alright, let's go! Hopefully it doesn't have Extinction Event. That would suck. Let's see what we get. The second Pine Clone's not good. It was just was a Molecule. Hopefully we'll get something playable here. No Extinction. No Extinction. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Oh, we're still in really good shape. We have a play here. Really, anything we get except for another Pine Clone is good. I guess we can't play our 5 drops either. <gasps> oh my gosh, some Top Deck Madness. Oh, we're gonna win this one. <laughs> we're gonna win. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, uh, I think we're just adding two points of luck just for Top Decking that Molecule in our time of need. <laughs> that not only is playable, not only is great, it's extremely good. Here comes some random 5 drops. And we have two very good ones and one very terrible one. Uh, and Morticia's gonna have a really hard time dealing with this Pecanalus as well. Okay, it's a rocket. Uh, proc the block, 
We're in really good shape now. We could theoretically do 10 damage here. Pop the buck. Bats and some bats are so sad because it just does the one damage here. Eh? Why bats here? Are you high? Why would you block three instead of blocking six? He must not have realized which lane it was in, guys. Uh, because he was gonna kill that anyway. Feels weird, man. Um. Hmm. I think we just go face. Screw it. Screw it. As long as he doesn't get summoning. Okay, we're a little bit light right now. Chickens. Die insect. So we got two plays. I kind of like the Ragnaros plus the. I don't know what he's going to do here. I like this. Two ways to get lethal. <laughs> Electric blueberry getting it done. But for those of you who don't know, the reason we call this Ragnaros Berry is because this uh, has the exact same ability essentially as Ragnaros from Hearthstone. Uh, which is an 8 cost 8-8 eight, eight that can attack, but at the end of every turn it just blasts 8 damage somewhere random on your opponent's field, either to their face or to one of their minions. So, essentially the same thing, but with fewer stats and lower cost. At least that's what Ragnaros did when I was playing Hearthstone. Maybe he does something completely different now. Did he get nerfed? We're good. We're good. And we're one to know, guys. Ah. Got him. 13 points of luck. It's my lucky number. He's my lucky day. Did everyone vote yes for this prediction? <laughs> Maybe I should have kept it at like kept it at eight and two for the for the yes. Ninety percent people said yes. <laughs> La di da di da. Gamer of epic, normal sniper. That's really good. That's a great one two punch. This is really good against HG2, who can't, like, deal one damage. Uh, so this will go grounds. I think this one we put on it. I should actually be spreading these as far as I can from each other, just to get more value out of the Bomagranite. Bomagranite always goes in middle, so you always play these on side. Oh, man. If this survives another turn, we're going to have a turn three Molokale from hell. Oh, I'll just put this here. Why not? Guys, this Molokale is insane. This is turn three, guys. This is not okay. There might even be a scenario where I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna play these two and blast the space time. Oh, this is insanity. So we're gonna have... On turn... Oh. Um. Oh, how greedy do we get here? Um. It's greedy, greedy time. I don't even care. I don't even care. This, this dies for free. 
Should I blast this for some reason? There's no real point, but I feel like getting the extra... Well, it'll make us able to berry blast something next turn, because it gives us extra sun. This is going to be <laughs> insanity now. 4 plus 2 does a lot next turn. That means we can berry blast the space time. It will we'll just... It'll just give us this kind of like... No, no, no. Oh my god. I'm getting freeze would have... Uh, it wouldn't have been that bad. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. Guys, so it's turn 5. We're gonna have 4, 4 drops on the field. No, it's turn 4. We're gonna have 4, 4 drops on the field. And a 2 and a molecule. And we're able to play Berry Blast as well this turn. Just to... Well, we'll play this first. Gosh, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> Let's go. That's very blastable. I don't care. That's a decent whirler. It's a really decent whirler. Here we go. We want this to die so we can molecal again next turn. We got a second molecal. No, 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 no. Okay, so they're five drops now. Get body gourd, briar rose. What the heck just ha No. Nah. And we have another molecule for next turn. So let's preserve the one that actually does the death. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're hitting with a second mole, another molecule. That was crazy. 30 luck just for that. Need a leap. Undying Pharaoh just dies. It was such a terrible leap, too, because it's a, it's something hitting a Briar Rose. Like, why would you do that? It does kill the Briar Rose now. It's supposed to be four, so it really denies us a six trap. I guess that's a value leap, huh? Yeet. Leap? More like yeet. Okay, here comes this play. La dee da. Oh, heals. That's nice. Our block meter is full. We're at 20 full block meter. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this is so stupid. Okay, congratulations. Um, yeah, we'll do it like this. Here we go, one, one more molecule. Gatling. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Bounce a plant. Here, take your pick. <laughs> what will be? Oh, he gave me the molecule. <laughs> what a sport. What a great sport. He's not gonna live here. We're hitting him for so much. Ah! Alright. 36 luck. Uh, that'll go in the highlight comp. Give me a minute to write that down. Molecule makes a molecule. Molecule, sorry, it's taking a while. Yay. Pretty damn good when we're 2 0 with this deck. Thanks for nagging me, guys, to make betting with channel points. It seems like it's people are having a lot of fun with it. Hello, Mitch. Welcome back. <sighs> Ooh. Um, this kind of gets rolling stone. So does this. What do I do with this hand? Maybe I just keep this hand for the versatility? I think that's a very versatile hand, though. 
It's okay. Uh, the problem with the sumo here is, I guess if he goes sumo, we'll berry blast and we'll do this on turn three. Fish. That's really good. Oh, we don't want the seedling to go here, so we're really probably just playing Bomagran, and who knows what we're going to play here. Thank you so much, Grassy Pluto, for the 200 bits. Really appreciate it. Oh, Brandon, okay. Uh, let's see what he does here. It seems like a budget sports deck, sort of. Man, that's the sumo now. Uh, okay, what do we do? What do we do? Whatever we play kind of just gets moved into the arm wrestler. This is a very sad trade against Arm Wrestler. Well. I could develop the Puff Shroom here too, man. Is it worth it in order to ramp an extra turn? Alright. I think this is the play. I'll give him one of these. And I'll give him one of these. So now, the sumo elite, th this is basically just preserving the twin sunflower for an extra turn. Oh! Okay. Never mind. That's okay. <laughs> this could actually just die to Ragnaros now. Come on, Ragnaros! That's extremely good. It also makes it more likely for the rag to hit one of these, which is what we wanted to hit. Come on! Yes! Guys, I really think Electric Blueberry is a non-ironic inclusion in a deck like this. This is really good. I wish Seedling was team up. Oh, that would be so great. The, um... What is this gonna be? Three points of luck for that, yeah. I'll make it 39. Okay, so we can either play Bomagranite here, we can play Bomagranite here. Ah, oh, it's probably another sumo. It's probably a pogo, actually. This actually plays the best around pogo. Ah, screw it. <laughs> okay. Well, I was not expecting stealthing him, not gonna lie. See ya. Okay, so this five goes face. <laughs> Yay. This turns into Lily of the Valley is not bad here at all. Guys, look at this reincarnation. It's actually amazing. Look at this play. That is so cool. We'll go face for five, because why not? Yeah! <laughs> oh, what? This smoke bomb doesn't do anything. Rolling Stone almost kills us here. But if he doesn't have it, the man's dead if he doesn't have a Rolling Stone. This Ragnaros is getting so much. How much has this done? It's done 12 so far, so it's killed two guys. Fry, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm feeling way better than yesterday. The 2 3 Lily. Some old school. So I just dominated that game. We'll make it 45 luck. We're 3 0 now. That's what I'm talking about. Man. I see, again, Electric Blueberry, it's too slow on turn 5, but getting it earlier? It just seems insanity. Getting on turn 3, man. <laughs> Someone suggested Ram to Electric Blueberry, and I kind of just built this deck around that. Okay. That's solid. I'll keep this. We'll get a good shot from it. It also sort of answers Con Man here, so we'll play this somewhere. It might even Scorch. We just really don't want him playing Swashbuckler next turn. It's becoming a pain in the tuchus. Berry Blast. It's usually just Swashbuckler. That's interesting. Um, I think I'm using the Scorch here. 
because his play is usually, you know, Trapper, buff this somehow with, let's say, Sugary Tree. He passed here. There, there it is. That was a worthy Scorch. It just makes that we're not taking all this chip and all the... Okay, so if this is a Flame Face, I think this is right. Taking out the Flame Face is, is, is good here. It doesn't kill either of these. The Mall Kill is still active, and if it ends up being a, a Swashbuckler or a... It's so unlikely. But this also plays your own Line Dancing Zombie. We don't want Line Dancing Zombie to hit this, so... It's... that's the play. It goes in here, it's fine. Even if that's Flame Face, which is the worst case scenario, it's still fine. Uh, I think it's just Mall Kill now. It's a very solid Mall Kill, and we have five drops. Let's go! Oh, the Sour Grapes kills the 3-1! It's so clutch! Oh, we have a... We have Fig plus Trapper territory now. How's that gonna play out? Uh, it, we don't really have anything good to sacrifice to the... to the Trapper territory Fig combo, but... It's a reincarnation. Well, this, this we can sacrifice. Ha! We can't really do the electric blueberry because of the fig, which is weird. So we can berry blast. And then play these two. This should probably be okay. We're uh, taking a little gamble, but it will probably get more than a one drop. I mean, this is like, we'll get better than two, too. This is actually a really legitimately good fig. That's fine. Maybe letting this hit. In fact, I should have just blocked the space time. Duh. Just don't let him conjure. He's low on cards. I definitely should have blocked space time. That was a huge misplay. Uh, this can turn into anything. Mm, could be worse. Procs have blocked. Do four damage to face. Uh, okay. Well, this first one dies for free. Uh, maybe Fig. We really need Fig to turn into something good. I almost ran Fig in this deck, but I decided there wasn't enough synergy. That's a pretty good springboard for the Ragnaros baby. Or Barry. Ragnaros baby. You should call him Ragnaros baby. That makes sense. Look at those, those little cute teeth. He's a big baby. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty solid. Should we wait to get more value out of this? <laughs> no, no more conjuring for you. Maybe this one should have gone here now. Uh, trades with the space now. Laps in deadly. Did he use super two superpowers already? He used clones. What was his starting power? It's probably encrypt. He fruitcakes and bungee and final mission. I'm totally cool with that. I'm exceedingly cool with that. This does four. This is really actually getting some value here. Fine. This procs the block. Uh, I think this is right. He's down to one card. We got bombs. Facts, this is amphibious minion. It's not bad. So here's five. And... Uh, probably proccing the block is correct here. It was in Crypt. I mean, he desperately needs the card. It heals the Doctor Space Time, too. That's a good play. Still really behind. So this should hit. It's great. Two. Here's the trade. Reincarnation still chump blocking this, which is nice. Oof. We were on level ones. Oh! So it's. We don't plank on this. This is better. So 
So it's Pine Clone. And then we play this and we get a seedling out of it. Uh, ceiling block, nice try. Pirate deck with space time. This is perfect! This is perfect! This could not be better. We kill that. That does nothing. The Pine Clone dies. We get a seedling. We still have five, four lanes clogged. A seedling needs to have a team up or whatever. <laughs> that spawns. That activates. And uh, we have this field. Who knows what seedling is going to turn into. It's deadly. He desperately needs a card. I, I mean, I don't, was he going to get chickening? Is this the worst thing we could have got? Uh, it's not bad. Con man? Yeah, we'll quit. And we're 4 <laughs> We're 4-0 with this deck. <laughs> Uh, I think it all went to crap when you use a fruitcake and a final mission on a Ragnaros, especially in a, in a card situation. I mean, we're both in a top deck situation here. That card, the, 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 the fruitcake gave us counts as a whole card. So essentially, we used a pumpkin and a Ragnaros for him to lose two cards and give us one. It was like a two for three. Amazing. Povorot. <laughs> Easiest for an O in my life. Maybe this deck secretly is just... I, I honestly think this might be the one card that's in an actual ramp package deck that's non-ironic. Maybe we'll do a non-ironic version someday. But not, you know, with no uh, seeds and stuff. about this model kill? I don't think we keep it. It's double reincarnation, though. It just makes like one of them will be playable. It's good when you have two, basically. People on Reddit saying Fruitcake's most broken card in the game. It's definitely up there. It's definitely, it's definitely one of the cards that needs to get nerfed. Uh, it's pass. Can't play this into Morticia. There's too many things. Beam me up, summoning bats. Things that trade for free. Uh, this, on the other hand, I think is playable. So I'm going to play this on Heights. It's Alien is now. It's a reincarnation. It's essentially a. It's essentially like a. Uh, if this kills us, it's going to be some BS. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, uh, we can protect this with something, too. Let's see what our rags turn into. This looks good. This is also a very strong Molokel play. The metal pedal was interesting. Alien uses that, that's fine. We're still gaining so much value from this twin sunflower. Oof. These aren't working out. Ah, this is interesting to play. Three plus four. I think it's five plus two. Or five, one, and one. Well. Nah, let's do five plus two, and we'll, um, well, this can still get hit by something. He already uses summoning, though. I'm not really that worried. I think the huge ramp play with the molecule is going to be really, really strong. Is there any reason this should go here? Okay, that hurt. You can kill the seed. Oh no, there is no seedling. There is no seedling. This is a good trade against teleportation zombies, no matter what happens here. He didn't have anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna mall kill this turn. 
Let's see if we can get something on Curl. Man, that was huge. We literally just got this from a reincarnation during our model kill turn. Are you kidding me? Oh, no! Oh. Never mind. It's still good, though. We're still in exceedingly good shape. That was pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Do you think we can get to six? Three plus this? I have to have three attack, man. I guess we're putting it there anyway, huh? I'm just emptying this hand. We're going all in. We going all in. Give me some good stuff here. Uh, 3 plus 3 did add. This didn't spawn, unfortunately. We got a little bit of Amphibious Energy. Uh, this, this also is anti-trick. I don't... This 3-drop sucks. This is really the worst one. That does die. Ugh. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Black IP punishes that slightly. Uh, it's nice that we're able to make a play this turn. I don't know about that. It's also growing. Also, Acid Rain is gone. I guess I'll just stick this in front of the Cattail and hope for the best. See, we're not really worried about damage coming in here. We're at 20. Our opponent's at 11 with this field to deal with. That is so annoying. <laughs> and there's... N <laughs> Healing, on the other hand. So this is 5, 6, oh man. Gone down to 3, but now our opponent's going to be back up to 19. You're saying maybe I should have kept the reincarnation instead of getting a two drop. You're probably right. Kitchen sink. No, I definitely don't let him heal more. So then we'd have theoretically a, a, a late game card for the next turn. Uh, yeah, we just don't seem to have enough momentum to pull this game out. We kind of went all in with that mall kill and really didn't get enough. And we're done. All right. That's all right. We also just don't have any big removal, and we also don't have environment. <laughs> I think the um, things this deck is lacking kind of caught up to us there. We're four and one. <laughs> Not counting that. Oh, we're at 69 stars? I was wondering why everyone in the chat is saying 69. Could not tell. <laughs> I thought you guys were asking me to change the luck score to 69. I'm spaced out. It's 4 and 1, guys. If we don't even start playing, I don't count. This is good. I'll probably play this one too. Oh, here we go. Did they pass or just pass? I want to give you a hug, homage. This is a really, really good reincarnation. And we'll go for the Pine Clones next turn. Bungie's this one. Interesting. Uh, that's fine. It just sets up a little bit of a slower Pine Clone. Uh, Scorch is pretty good here. Oh, I'll take that. You don't set up Puff Dream. You wait Puff Dream for the Pine Clone. It's a 3 3. Oof. I almost don't want to wait now. There, there is a slow play where you set, develop this a little bit more. What is this going to be? I think I'm going to try to get as much value out of this. Well, 
Getting three pine cones is pretty damn good here, but on the other hand, against line dancing, hmm. I really could, maybe I should be going pine clone here. This weed whack is also useful later. I should play around line dancing and split these though. I think I'm doing. I, I think I'm doing this. I think I'm doing this. It's blind. It's strike through fire. So now the weed whack actually hits this. That's a way better than killing the two one. Way better. This is a really solid play. I think speeding up rather than trying to get too greedy and and get these. Um, I'll mall kill and see if we can get something that, I don't know, splashes these? But we'll mall kill first. Indubitably. I know this dies. Okay! Not the greatest mall kill ever. Because this is a good trade, perhaps I should just weed whack this one now. I think so. That's potted, it's so sad to see that. Smoke bombs this here so he doesn't take the damage. That's odd. We'll do this next turn, this will be fine. Don't really have much to do anyway. <laughs> Is there any point in even playing this card? Or should I wait until we need to block something? It's not this is not getting in trouble. I think it's just Scorch. And we'll use this when it's actually useful. There's no point in ramping either. Third flame phase. Trade. At least it dies. So he's just trying to rush us now. There's Deadly looking for that bungee plumber. Infinity clones could have finished us there. So we just need two damage, and we have a lot of ways of getting it. Line dancing zombie, there's no real way of playing around it. He is clones, yeah. The line dancing just wins. Po what about Pogo? So let's play around Pogo. Doesn't really matter. Nah, it, Pogo doesn't doesn't do anything. Healing block meter. That did nothing. Uh, and he can't clear a lane. There's no his last two powers were encrypt, which does nothing, and strength, which does nothing. We actually beat Infinity Pirates with this ramp package deck. Whoa. <laughs> he got three flame phases too, man. That's an accomplishment for any deck, especially for an RNGs deck. So what are we six? We're five and one now. We're five and one. The the, the insta concede did not count. Right. That was a sweaty game. Probably go shoot for five here. Just play patiently. Oof. Both lined on the ground is good. There's the stack. Uh, this reincarnation turned into another one. I'm pretty sure that's right. Question is, should I do this? Wait, this is turn two. So we'll have four next turn. 
Mmm, nope. This is fine, though. It's a 1 cost 3-3. Three, three. It's overpowered. 1 cost 3-3, three, three, guys. How great is that? Question is, which one of these do I do? Uh, I guess we're... Well, no, we don't have the Pine Clone now. Huh. We actually don't have this play anymore. We do have Bombogranite, though. Oh, wait. Oh, it's just Pine Clone. Oh, no, yes. Just a dumb. Getting confused, guys. I'm so confused. Uh, yep, yeah. we'll do the double next turn. Whatever. It just dies for free. You think everyone who fights me is sniping? There's a lot. It is a lot, a lot of people. Just become the culture. I don't think it's every single one, though. Bungie? It's a good bungie. But again, it's just resources out of his hand. These, these pomegranates are not doing enough. If these were astrocados, look how good they would be here. <laughs> non ironic. Welcome to. Like, even the Ragnaros would be so good here. I think we just trade these. It's really sad. Well, I could just go face, too. Yeah, I think I'm just going face. This will die to the Pine Clone next turn. We're also just setting up, getting some value from this cards. Again, it'd be really nice if Seedling had team up. It would make this card a slightly more useful, too. I think going five face there was the way. Oh, got a Berry Blast. It's gotta be the Pine Clone play. Team up here. Good. Even if he deadly barrels, it's fine. We'll have him down to six empty block meter, and we'll have him one away from a berry blast. Six damage here is huge. He might like final mission. It's not good though. He he needs to do that to make sure he doesn't go down to four health. Now he'll be now he'll that one. We're trying to proc our block. He should have tried to proc first. This removes three damage and also adds three on our side. Now we're a berry blast away from lethal. Very interesting. Strength does not win. It it would have though if we would have gone for this. It would have been six plus two. Uh, uh, unless he has some way of like playing a trickster. I don't even. <laughs> must, uh, there's no way for him to play around this. He can't heal. This guy's done. Get out of my house. I'm just daydreaming. What if the uh, <laughs> what if this was Ragnaros? Michael is such a good card. That's so all I'm trying to say. So now we're 6 and 1 with this deck. Man, this deck! Being pirate decks, being all kinds of things, Infinity cannot take it. Cannot take the pie. He just doesn't have a good answer to a pine clone. 
I'm playing the uh, ramp patiently. Ah. Oh no, we have 71 stars. It's like we're leaving 69. It's a thing of the past. Here's Nimortisha. It's not a great matchup again against what we're trying to do in the early game, but... It's doable. You gotta get rid of one of the mall kills here. Okay, it's fate. Ah, uh, please give me super. Oh my gosh, that helps so... That just makes this happen on turn three instead of four. Uh, we'll wait one more turn, because we'll probably get more value out of it. I'm not gonna... Opponent's thinking of summoning the face here. <laughs> this helps so much. This makes this, this makes this hand twice as good. Oh, dear God, it's three Pine Clones on three. This is, by the way, the, the, the answer to the question, do you use Solar Flare Super Power to Power the Face? If it means that the next two turns, you're going to have amazing, amazing crap going on because of the ramp, uh, then the answer is yes. And if not, you save it and try to actually shoot a minion. We got a third pu Okay. Okay, we got a third Puff Shroom. Congratulations. This actually doesn't even die, which is weird. Um, so we try to drag this out with the fewest resources possible. Uh, it's always getting dragged here. So you can go right there. And we'll put you here. And we'll team you up. Um, the question is, where does this last pine clone go? We, do we, we don't want we want the pine clone going face next turn probably. So here's the pine clone. <laughs> Stop it, he's already dead. <laughs> okay, so here's six to face. Procs the block, it's fine. They use acid rain, come on, man. Uh, okay. Ooh. Maybe I should just Ragnaros. Oh, we got another thing for Molokka, that's nice. Uh, so I think a three, well, is a three two better mall? Well, we want the mall kill to, um, to live because we have another mall kill next turn, so. la dee da I bet he's going for, like, extinction event. Nice try. Okay, so we got Fireweed on Heights, Starfruit, <laughs> we have Bird, and we have Briar Rose. And this is actually a flower, so we have, uh, we have synergy to kill this, okay? Nice Acid Rain, bro. This is still doing... Five damage. <laughs> that did not. That beat me up to nothing. Okay. Oh. Why? Are you, why would you do that? Okay, he completely wastes the bungee. All right, I'll see you later. La di da. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Uh. Ninety luck. And that'll be the highlight for this video. That was an extremely good model account. Oh, you're right. I could bring something to the water here. Is it worth it? Uh, there's probably no reason to. Is there a reason to put the bird in the water? Ah, screw it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'll do it for fun. Now we have amphibious minions. Whee! Double dandelion cake bombs away! <laughs> it blocked both. Bolshevik. Okay, now we got 20 empty block meter. Hey, we have an open lane, too. Alright, so we got the amphibious laser beam. He's just floating there. It's like big amphibious Yoshi. Blocks the four damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably the block wasn't bad. la dee da dee da
Blueberry pie, no. Let's go. Nice! It's a so beautiful. 99 luck. What is that now? Seven and one? Looks like the answer to the, the bet just got decided. This deck is kicking it right now. Alright, so we won more than six games. I don't know why I uh, underrated this, but the outcome is yes. The game did win seven games. Enjoy all your all your bits. Looks like Kimi lost this time. Oh, I should look for a... I should look for a Pine Clone or a Molecule with this hand. Alright, this is good enough on two. Uh, I guess I'm playing on the ground now. I'm not really worried about laser or anything. Uh, we're 7-1, we'll play two more games. Polyrath Gaming. Polyrath is cool. I remember when I got my first Polyrath. It was in a uh, pack of Pokemon cards at Barnes & Noble. You got a Pine Clone. It's a pretty good Scorch. Imagine voting. <laughs> we rolled double one so far. Things are going pretty damn good. Uh, I really might go with three and two. Depends if he plays into it. I don't know what he's going to play that has three health, but... Uh... He's probably playing for Leap now. I think this messes up what he's trying to do enough that it's worth it. These are better on heights. We'll do the plank one next turn. Beam me up inside. We're still getting four pine clones. The old top deck got pop shroom here or something. Uh, one cost 3-3. Three, three. Uh, okay, here's the reincarnation debate. Do we take this as a 3-3 three, three immediately, or do we say this is going to be very useful down the stretch as a late-game card, theoretically? I mean, it does get buffed. Man, that's tough. I... I think because we have no cards left in our hands, and the three one more 3-3 three, three doesn't really matter, taking out that 2-1 and gives a 3-1 on the field, I think I'm actually going to save it and... We're going to play this once it will give... You know, even if this turns into a 1-drop, it's also a 1-cost 3-3 three, three later. This will probably, again, we really need as many cards that cost 4 or more. He leaps this. That did nothing. Why would he not leap this one, though? He totally should have leaped this. So he's going after the, the team-ups. It's okay. That's such a valuable superpower. He wasted the leap. Why did he not leap this one? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, it's, no, it's not playable, though. <laughs> Much sadness. Uh, we are going... Yeah, let's go face with this. None of his superpower is going to help him control. It's Chop, Deadly, and Telepathy. Pine Clone. Uh, Cap Cannon. One turn too early, man. Now we have the two reincarnations. I wonder if I'm having instant regrets. The this it's Proxis block. It's not even that great. Is proccing his block and then doing five damage good? I guess it is. I suppose. This could just get chopped. It's not a great dandy. We could have gone for 3 plus 3, too. Good thing he didn't get chopped there. It's pretty lucky. He might have it, though. Oh, he has deadly. Chop is way better than deadly there. So we just win? Aw. Uh, looking for final mission. Nope. 
Got him. Uh, extremely unlucky from the opponent that he didn't have an answer there. And really, Chop was the power he needed, and that came last, so... Go. We want to wait. Play one more game. We're eight and one now. That was you, Joey Smokes. Good game. Seemed like your hand was pretty bad throughout. People are gloating their channel points now. <laughs> I'll keep this. Nice to protect your twin with your primal. Definitely take it. If this also gets lightning bolted, it's totally fine. Yeet. Look on your exam, Falcon. Squirrel. It is a squirrel. Ah, so we gotta do this play. Probably doesn't have a bungee. If had a bungee, would have used the last turn. Or a nibble. Doesn't matter. This power flower is looking awfully thick. Look at this power flower. What is that play, man? That that is that is a power flower. It's a four six, man. What is he planning on doing with this? I wonder if I play around the final mission for next turn and actually commit a Puff Shroom here or something. I can actually just do this. In front of the twin, why? I think this is fine and then we'll, we'll use the Puff Shroom instead next turn to chump lock the 4-3 or something like that. That is a thick boy. This also heals for two. Added bonus. I think the puff stream's pretty good here. Man, that's a Roto Vega. That's a 3 2 Roto Vega. We're making six here. I think this is the button. Six damage. This is ridiculous. What is he going to do with four? Good. He extinction event that one. He was going to do it on the power flower. There's no point now. So Power Flower is still hitting for four, still healing us to full health. la dee da <laughs> And we have a perfect Ragnaros here. This will just go on heights. Oh, we have Berry Blast too. So I, I, I gotta play around Final Mission and, and actually blast this, right? Is that, is that correct? Because then he'll have to remove a 4-3 off the field. We have to do that. Should I play it on the ground? 
We gotta berry blast this. And play around Alienus, of all things. I feel like the 6 damage is better. He's probably not running Alienus in the stick. He's probably not running Alienus. He's going for final mission. Plus final mission plus trapper could take this down. Nah! <laughs> Die, insect! Rolls a 1! Oh, we're good. The 6 damage is better than the 4 here. There's Lightning Bolt, doesn't even kill it. It doesn't even kill it. We're still at 20 health full block meter. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy dead. This man dead. No more barrels. I don't think he has a way of dealing 5. Get wrecked. So this stream, this deck, wow! <laughs> we didn't ramp, it wasn't even real ramp package, it was ramp pine clone molecule. Seedling spawner was a joke, the Ragnaros was fine, the reincarnations were fine. Man, this deck. <laughs> so much, <laughs> so much fun. The final score is 129 luck to 7, we went 9 and 1. Hope you guys enjoyed, I certainly did. That was incredible. Peace, this is Fry.